Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. In July or August 2015, we expect to see the launch of Windows 10. This will be a free upgrade for current users of Windows 7 or Windows 8, and may hence become very popular very quickly. In this video, I therefore thought I'd show you the latest preview edition. Right. If you want to try Windows 10 before it's officially launched, you have to go to insider.windows.com to join the Windows Insider program, where of course you click to uh, get started. You're then taken to a page where you need to enter your Microsoft username and password if you have one. If you don't, you have to create one. And then you'll sign in. And you'll be taken to a, a registration screen where you'll have to scroll through and of course say you accept the terms. You have to say you accept the uh, license in general, and then say why you want to try Windows uh, 10 in its preview format, and if you don't know what to say, use using Windows for your company. You'll then find you've joined the Windows Insider program. It's not difficult to, uh, to do it, as you can see. And then you need to decide what you actually want to download. There is a version for phone, for Windows phones, if you're really brave, but here, of course, we're going to try the, uh, the PC version. It'll then remind you this is not a version of Windows to install on your main PC. This is a trial version, it's not stable. You'd only put this on a virtual PC or one, a PC you can afford to play with. And then it'll take you to a screen for actually doing the download. I suggest what you do is to download the ISO files so you can then create a DVD and you can use that to install Windows on whatever machine you're going to try out with these files. Finally, you're taken to the, the download screen. And if you scroll down here, you will discover there's a load of uh, download links. Here I'm going to pick uh, English United Kingdom because that's the one that best matches me. And then I'll download um, this file and write it to a DVD. This, of course, will take a, a very long time indeed. It's 3.78 gigabytes. So I will get on with doing this and I'll come back to you when I've created my DVD, installed Windows and got everything running. OK, well, here we are uh, booting up uh, Windows 10, uh, loading the operating system, as the PC is uh, telling us. There we have a nice little subtle uh, Windows square, just to show things are going on. It's worth pointing out that uh, this operating system hasn't been uh, optimised yet, we haven't got all the right drivers yet, and I'm not running on the latest hardware, so you mustn't hold any of the performance here against what the final system will be like. But uh, here we are, we've arrived in the program, it's got its uh, splash screen on the front there, get rid of that. And I need to put in my password because I haven't set things up so I haven't got to put a password in yet. Let's do that. And here we go, uh, accessing Windows 10. And uh, here we are on the desktop. As you can see, I've booted this already. I've written a sticky note over there and I've installed Google Chrome. I think, as you probably know, it's actually the law to install Google Chrome on a, any new computer you can install it on. And there we are, Google Chrome works, proving we, are, we must have a working computer. However, probably the most important thing about uh, Windows 10 is not the fact I've installed Google Chrome, but that down here on the taskbar at the end, we have a start menu. There it is, look. I'll bring it up twice because it's so exciting. We have a start menu, which as you can see, is a sort of hybrid. Here we've got the ability to run programs from the start menu. You might say, well, what's so amazing about that? Well, of course, we couldn't back in, in Windows 8. And, but now we can on the Windows 10. We can look at recent applications. We can look at all applications and run them from this list as we wish. But we've also got the Metro style tiles, which we had on, on the Metro screen um, on Windows 8. That, horrifically schizophrenic operating system. Where, where were you? Were you on the Metro screen? Were you on the desktop? It was an absolute mess. Now those two things have come together, so we can run things from these tiles. We could say run up uh, the weather. There's the weather look. What's the weather going to be? What is the weather now? Oh, it's going to, uh, looks like we're going to get some light rain. Anyway, we've run up that application, but we could also run things from, um, as I said, the actual start menu. We could find, for example, 
Internet Explorer. I've already launched uh, Google Chrome, so it's only fair, I guess, to run Internet Explorer. That actually works as well. As you can see, the um, edges of our windows are very, very clean in uh, Windows 10, or um, very minimalistic, depending on your point of view. We can resize them, but they aren't wasting any space with uh, um, edges or borders here, which I guess is to save screen estate on, on different devices, and it's quite a, a clean look. Now, I've launched here um, Chrome and Internet Explorer, but we also have in Windows 10 another browser. Um, we can find it here on our uh, menu, Project Spartan, or it's here as a tile. Let's launch it from a tile. This is a Microsoft's latest browser. It's designed to do all sorts of exciting things. Apparently, it's going to be called Edge when it launches. So it's got a symbol that looks like an E, which is just like Internet Explorer, just about. But anyway, this is the latest browser which we'll have a choice of using. We can use uh, Internet Explorer or we can use the Edge browser. Down here on the taskbar, we've got a nice little button for the task view. If we click that, you'll see it shows us everything running. And we can go and, for example, close things down. Or, and then we can pick where we want to go back to over there. And that works as you would expect. So this really is what Windows um, 10 is going to look like. And we're all going to have to make this choice within a few months. Um, do we want to actually keep using Windows 8 or Windows 7? Or do we want to move for free to this new um, Microsoft operating system? As you hopefully also know, Windows 10 is going to be available for free for devices like the Raspberry Pi and Internet of Things version. And therefore, in the next video, I will show you Windows 10 running on the Raspberry Pi. But for now, I think that's it for a very basic look at a Windows 10. And as I've got a start menu, I will use it to shut down because I actually can. As we all know, every other version of Windows is a classic, and following the relative disaster of Windows 8, Windows 10 looks like it may well continue in the classic trend. So, will you be installing Windows 10 to replace Windows 7 or Windows 8? Or maybe you are waiting for Windows 9, which has somehow disappeared into the ether. If you've got something to say about the future of Windows, please leave us a comment down in the comment section down there or over there or wherever it is on your device. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.